Hi there guys, out in the first shed today and um, we're kind of making some make boxes and I thought you guys might like me to show you how to do that. Um, I use 110s with my make boxes, some people use 120s but uh, I all I have is 110s right now, maybe in a couple years I'll be using 120s, who knows. Um, this is my second year trapping make. Uh, I didn't use boxes last year, I just used under edge sets and stuff like that, but uh, this is what you're going to be making. What you need is five pieces of wood, um, seven and a half inches, seven and a half, seven and a half, by a foot, so you need five pieces, the other one doesn't have to be by a foot, but you'll just have that little bit sticking out, um, I honestly don't care, so then I'm just going to show you how to make these. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is, um, Take some screws, I don't care what size you use, it doesn't really matter. Um, I think the longer you use, the more likely chance you have of splitting. But you're going to put three on each side, you're just going to get them started. This is going to be my base. Um, so I'm just going to start all these, try to get them straight. And if you put them in slow, you don't have to pre drone Because it, um, if you go slow, there's less chance of you splitting the wood. I'm just going to put three on each side. So that's what this looks like. Um, just got three on each side. Um, now what you're going to do is you're going to put your sides on. You're only going to put one side on at first because you got to put the notch on there. So I'll get that one side on. Again, you want to take it slow so you don't split the wood. Don't be in a hurry, you got plenty of time. So you got your one side on. Um, there's a tack sticking out of this one. Don't need that going into your hand. Um, all you gotta do for your other side is cut a notch in it for your trap spring, and I'll do that real quick. Okay, so I got that cut out. It's on this side now. I just do the same as the other and drill it in slowly. that one on. So there's my notch, my trap will sit here, and I just got to put my cover on, and then the back. 
I'll put those on and get back to you and show you the end prop. Okay, here. Here's what I just made. Um, same as the other one. I put three screws on top, three screws on the bottom. I only put four in the back because I didn't think I need any more back there. Um, I got my notch in there. I'd say that's about 11 inches. Well, technically it is a foot from the trap where your trap's gonna be sitting. It's about 11 inches back in there. Um, here's my 110. So, here's a sticker in there. Kinda like that. Put your bait in the back of there. Um, your muskrat, your call lure would probably be on top here. And then your bait lure would probably be in the back. Um, some people drill holes in the back, kind of like weasel boxes, so the scent with the wind moves through it. Um, some people also put a screen back on there. I just used what I had. I had these from an old sign. Same thing I used my made out of my muskrat floats. Um, check that video out, how to make a muskrat float. Um, but here it is. Um, I think it'll work pretty good. I'll take her outside and put a stick in there and see if this here affects anything like that. Should just pop out and kill that mink. See you outside. Okay guys, I got my stick here and here's my mink box. I got the 110 in there. This is how it should work. This is your mink. You got your muskrat in the back. Bam. He's done. And then you had to have it tied off and have a mink waiting for you. Worked out pretty good. Um, so that's how you make mink box. So please rate, comment, subscribe, share the video. Um, just a thing I'm going to be doing a trail camera contest pretty soon here. Just giving away a couple of hats and a knife to the best trail cam pick. Um, so I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.